This is my 2017 Ram Promaster. Uh, it's the tall version. And I was going to uh, to build this. I wanted to plan it out, so I hopped on YouTube and started searching for stuff. And there's not a ton of videos with contractors using this van. There are plenty out there with trade-specific guys setting it up for plumbing, electrical, things like that. So I just kind of went with it and it's changed a few times and I'm sure it'll change again. Um, here at the side first off we've got some random material here. Uh, love that thing for cleaning off tools. Here's my bags. Um, this set is my framing set. This is my finish set. Um, went with this because it's a lot smaller. I can actually walk around inside, not bang up walls and doorways and cabinets and things like that. And then down there is my uh, my drywall set for hanging. So this used to be a a bench, just a workbench at waist height right here, um, but it ended up just being a junk pile and piled all my shit on there and. It never stayed organized for more than two or three work days, so I got rid of it and uh, put in another shelf system here. Um, I keep the top of it open for putting in my uh, rolls of vinyl and rolls of carpet, longer trim, stuff like that. I don't have a door, so I can't put all my material through here. Um, so all I can fit is 10 foot stock down here. Up there, I can fit. Uh, I can fit 14s, but not not too much. Keep all my fasteners in here. Random screws, random nails, brads, uh, random drill bits and driving stuff. Sawzall blades, uh, jigsaw, roto zip, everything like that in there. Um, these are all the fasteners that I keep on hand. This is job specific. Um, I do insurance restoration, so every day is just remodeling a house. Um, so I got to keep a lot of different lengths of sizes and things. GRKs for second cabinets, all of those things. Um, so all my miscellaneous hand tools, which kind of just turns into a shit pile. Um, but I know where all that shit is. So, uh, more miscellaneous stuff in here, earplugs, wire nuts, um, extra torpedo level, a couple blade wrenches and different tools for my tools, um, rags, knee pads, back there it is uh, just some storage, I, tuck, I tucked all my mud mixers into the holes of the van itself. So I've got paddle mixers and stuff and trowels. A um, little bit of drywall mud. I don't keep a ton on hand uh, just for little patches here and there. Um, gallon of tight bond. Different adhesives for floors. Uh, sheet vinyl, things like that. A little bit of paint for touch-ups or priming. Um, this is all wood filler, wood stains. I don't keep this bag or this bag on, on hand during the winter because here it's it's nothing to get five below in the winter overnight, so all that stuff would turn to shit when I get to work the next day, so that stays in the shop. This is a bag of caulking, adhesive, spray texture, um, spray primer, things like that. Uh, this is the best part about my work van. It's my microwave. Uh, Hitachi air compressor. Love that thing. I've got my texture gun hiding back there. In here, it's all drywall, uh, drywall taping, stuff like that. Hair mover. And then uh, 10 inch sliding miter saw there. Up here, I've got drop cloth back there. Uh, the uh, self adhesive um, floor and protection stuff. A couple of Tyvek suits for going underneath houses, uh, carpeting tapes, and masking stuff, painters plastic, Tyvek, 
This is all random trim. Um, I like to keep different stuff on hand for maybe I missed an area or had a miscut or something. Um, it's just nice to keep something on hand. They're framing squares. Um, there's some water putty, paint thinner, xylene, uh, masking guns, random tape things. Um, this is a bunch of random hardware, some closet stuff, kind of a mismatched pile of shit. Uh, sheets of sandpaper, sanding stuff, a belt sander. Uh, this is all drill bits and hole saws. Uh, carpet stapler, um, 18 gauge red gun, um, more seam tape. This box has uh, string lines and chalk lines, chalk. Um, more shit pile stuff. This is all random hardware as well. Uh, closet stuff, cabinet stuff, plate covers, punch list, light bulbs, uh, plastic for wrapping up trim or, or whatnot, uh, some frame nails, um, shim material, shims back there, clamps here. Clamps up here, more clamps in there. Power strip, it's awesome for plugging into, uh, just plug this into the power and then put my chargers into there, microwave, air compressor, all that stuff. Um, a couple extra blades, um, impacts, old drill for mixing up uh, drywall mud, things like that. Radio, roto zip. Lost like multi tool. Uh, cordless jigsaw. This thing is old. Um, it's not the most powerful thing in the world, but it is cordless. And 23 gauge pen nailer and 18 gauge rad gun. Um, cordless. A lot of what we do in insurance restoration business is uh, small punchless type things. Um, water supply line on a toilet goes and it affects just that bathroom, so I'm putting up four or five pieces of trim, and it's great to have that rather than running out air compressor and line and all that stuff. Um, cordless saw, a couple sanders, drywall gun, heat gun, angle grinders, a couple more nailers. Um, this is all horrible sander stuff. Bull nose gauge, you just put that in the wall, mark your inside, and that gives you your uh, determination point for your 22s. Collins miter clamps. These things are pretty cool. Um, drilling. Uh, full set of drilling bits in there. And I keep that in here specifically so I don't lose that shit because when they're scattered or when they're down in this thing, I fucking lose them all the time. Um, drill bits, bit extensions, uh, sunflower seeds. Batteries, uh, power planer, belt sander back there, um, rigid corded drill for mixing thin set, things like that, and then a uh, corded jigsaw. Um, Makita hypoid saw, and then the 36 volt uh, rear handle worm drive style saw. Um, I used to keep a Mag 77 in here as well, just for uh, for doing shitty tasks. Not wanting to burn this up, but I don't really care. Um, this thing is amazing. It's got as much power as the uh, corded versions, uh, except it's cordless, so it's fucking legit. Um, levels down here. Let's see right there. Router and router bits. Crane, carpet stretcher. Uh, hacksaw. That's great when our when our guys come through and they do their flood cuts. 
they usually just saws all the corner metal for drywall corner beads and leave it all jagged and shitty. So that's what I keep that there for is cutting a clean cut on it. Uh, final leveler. Um, four leveler for floating out under laminate before sheet vinyl. Got box mud here, 20 minute and five minute powder. Much better than keeping them in those bags because those just get ripped up. Um, it's not a rigid vacuum. It's a, it's a weird thing to get excited about a vacuum, but this thing is fucking legit. Everything's contained inside of it. And it's small, so instead of keeping a, the bigger one that takes up that entire area, that thing just stays there, out of the way. This box is all carpet tools. So, seamer and edge trimmer, pad stapler, things like that. This is a uh, 10 inch job site table saw by Rigid. Uh, it's a pretty good saw. It's got a powerful motor. Um, it's probably the best thing about it is the motor. Over here I keep saw horses, miter stand, a ladder. And uh, I'll come to the back of the van. Keep tape in there and there and uh, hanging up here keep t-squares some brushes and gloves and then all my uh, power and air hoses here um, I keep a uh, contractor bag here for packing in tools it's nice to just pile a bunch of stuff in there and drag that rather than making a couple of trips and then uh, roll of trash bags So uh, there it is, how I set up my van as insurance restoration contractor.